we can automate any task in Excel by recording macros or writing VBA code. We can record a simple macro and execute it with simple command or we can assign that VBA code to a command button and execute it after clicking on the command button. Macro can save time in repetitive tasks in Excel. We can simply say macro is a recorded code by Excel while performing any task and if we want to do that task again we can execute the recorded code. So let's see with example. Let me write hello world in cell A1. So what I'll do I'll go to developer tab. Here we have option record macro. Once I click then we get a new window macro name is already given by default it is macro one we can change it whatever we want i am giving name as testing shortcut key we can assign control is already given let me give l so when i will press control l then recorded macro will run third option is store macro in here we can click here and we get three options if I select this macro that means recorded macro will work only in this excel file or this workbook in fourth option that is description we can write any relevant description so that it is helpful for learning any specific recorded macro so let me write testing first macro now we can press ok we can see here that record macro sign is changed into stop recording so whatever i will perform here all the steps will be recorded so what i am going to do is i will copy this a1 and then i will paste this cell to some specific cells now this step has been recorded by this record macro option so technically what has happened i have copied cell a1 and pasted into these six cells so let me click on stop recording now if i delete these values and press the shortcut key that we have assigned to this macro that is control and L. We can see value is copied and pasted into same cells. If I change value in cell 11, let's say good morning and press the key again. So what is happening? Technically A1 is copied and pasted into same six cells. So this is how we can record any task and execute again with the help of shortcut key. See what is recorded by Excel. So I'll press Alt and F11. Alt F11 key will take us to editor window. So here on this screen we can see on left hand side there is a folder name module. If I expand this by pressing here and this is the module double click on this module we can see all the recorded code for that macro is here so whatever is written with green font all these lines are comments so these lines will not be executed these are just the comments to give some additional information so we can see that name is testing macro and we gave description as testing first macro and we assign control plus L as keyboard shortcut to run this macro. Now let's copy this code. Control C to copy this code. I'll just paste this code for a little while on notepad. Let me minimize this notepad. Also let me minimize this VBA editor window. So now what I'll do on the same developer tab we have option insert 
when I press here from ActiveX control I will select a command button and then drag a small command button on this sheet then I will double click on this command button and I can paste the same copied code here that we recorded now what will happen when we press this command button so recorded code or recorded VB code that we have copied on the back end of this command button will be executed now instead of using shortcut key what I'll do let me click on design mode now I'll click on this command button and we can see that task is executed so this is how we can record any macro for any repetitive task and we can copy recorded code and assign to command button as well then whatever code is recorded or we have copied we can make changes to this recorded code as well for our different specific need but to understand all the recorded code and to do changes in this code we need to learn little bit of programming that is in VBA so thanks for watching this tutorial for more learning tutorial for Excel VBA subscribe to my channel thanks for watching